there, this is Julian from the Binary Lab and I'm going to give you a little hits up on how to use pending orders. So in particular, I'm going to be talking about like the buy stop and the sell stop. This is one of the most basic features when it comes to placing your order in Forex and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So whenever you click the new order feature, you're probably going to see something where you can actually select, uh, give us a type. You don't have to necessarily like click sell by market or buy by market. You can also click on pending order it gives you a choice to uh, you know do a, a buy limit sell limit buy stop sell stop in today's video I'm going to be teaching you what is the buy stop sell stop and how to use it and uh, basically just pay attention to my demonstration and I'll show you exactly how it works so um, over here what we have is the USD CAD chart okay and um, like I wanted you to pay attention that I have uh, I have you know a uh, entry line over here as you can see it is actually a trade that is pending it is not yet active uh, as you can see you know it's not already engaged it is you can't see it too clearly I, I want to try and zoom in you see it says sell stop sell stop means that I'm not in the trade yet uh, but it will be in the trade I, I will be in the trade once the trade is engaged so for example, I will show you a different trade which I am in. This is a trade that I'm already in. And uh, you know, it says buy because I'm already in the trade. So it's not a uh, it previously was a buy stop. When it's triggered, it will indicate as buy. Now what's different about these two? I'm gonna explain it to you as well. So let's get back to this USCAD example. So uh, in this trade, you know, I'm actually looking at different scenarios, one of which is that maybe there's gonna be a hit and show this pattern. Um, maybe it's gonna break to the downside and um, in this case I'm looking at the possibility of breaking to the downside so of course I'm, I'm, I'm looking at different possibilities but with the breakout to the downside you know I can safely assume that let's say if it goes beneath this price there's a very high likelihood for it to be going down all the way. Uh, inside of my trading group I actually teach people how to set uh, the appropriate stop loss that is not too excessive and to set appropriate take profits, how to use multiple take profit points um, but you know in the meantime for this video on my channel I'm just going to be showing you like uh, what this is about okay so um, if if we are currently looking at it to break down to the downside uh, the condition is that if it breaks beneath here then there's a high likelihood of winning so uh, this would be a much higher chance of us uh, getting a profitable trade then just to you know say that okay um i think i think it's going to go down i'm going to take the trade now and you know um a few hours later you found out that it moves against you didn't win the trade and it gets a bit frustrating so um i prefer to actually sacrifice a little, a little bit of pips and i make up for it using my lot size instead okay so for instance you know you can calculate your you know if you know how to place your stop loss you will calculate your lot size based on your stop loss and then use that to you know uh, see how much of a lot size you should be making for the trade uh, so anyway I'll, I'll cover that in a different video but for now I want you to understand that let's say if we think it's going to go down here uh, rather than just doing a market uh, trade for the stupid uh, do a, a sell stop in this case instead so this is a sell stop as you can see sell stop and then if the conditions are hit um, then the trade will will finish as as I want to. If it does not hit, then okay, then you know so be it. Okay, whatever. Um, in this case, you know if it doesn't get hit within x amount of hours, uh, I can also set that the trade will be auto cancel as well. We can do that. Uh, I'll show you a different one which I have a uh, trade that's also set. So that would be. Okay, this is another trade that I have. I have um, pending order. This is in this case a buy stop. Uh, I'm looking for it to break above here, and uh, if it breaks above there, there's a high chance that it's going to continue upward. At this point of time, you know it's hard for me to to determine if it's going to go up or go down. So rather than try to guess which way the market's going to make and possibly lose some money, I rather instead you know create a buy stop. So in this case, how I would do it is I'll click the new order button. And I'll click the, you know, instead of not buy by market, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do pending order, 
and then you know click the uh, you know section for buy stop and then click place for instance and then it's gonna uh, and then I set my price and my price can be indicated let's say all right over here is one seven five 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 seven uh, then I'm just gonna key that in okay I'll just just show you the process of doing it all right like that and then in this case if my stop value I can I can do it here all right one oh seven one seven four eight four okay all right and then for my take profit I can also uh, enter it somewhere so um, I'm going to show you different ways sometimes you know um, we if you're not like if you find it very fr frustrating to look at the numbers uh, you can either just look at the screen and pick one of these uh, ones that's close closest to what you expect uh, but it doesn't have to be like spot on so what I can do sometimes is that I just need to take note of how what is the minimum price that I can set okay uh, minimum distance from the market for instance maybe I'll just set like another one like right here and then I'll do it like that and, and look over here I can I can simply click and drag this to anywhere that I want okay so uh, this is a much much faster way of of doing it and I personally have to do it this way I just settle something uh, you know I'm, I'm a very visual person what I like to do is that maybe you know I determine visually based on some sort of the, some of my my typical training method I'll just put some line I say okay this is going to be my target and let's say I just randomly set like that when it comes out once I see on my chart, just drag it to the spot and boom, I'm ready, all ready to go. So this is how I do it. Um, remember I spoke to you that there's actually a way to adjust the time. So let's say if I'm looking at this chart and I think that, uh, you know, this should hit within the next five hours. If it doesn't hit within the next five hours, I think this trade is not valid. So what I need to do is that when I click on the, the trade, and once again, there are many different ways of clicking on the trade. I can either right click and, you know, modify or I can just simply... I can simply, you know, like, um, as you know, I have a trade here. I'm just gonna see, I can just click on it, double click it, and I can set an expiry. Okay, so how do I set my expiry? Um, I wanna look at my current price on the market because the server time may not be my local time. It says 9 o'clock of the 11th of December. So let's say I wanna give this five hours. So 9 o'clock plus 5 hours, that's going to be 1,600 hours. So I click on the trade, once again, I click on the trade, and in the, in like, uh, let's say, you know, uh, what's that? 9 plus 6, so 15, 1,500 hours, I will just uh, key in a 15, all right, and uh, 0, and click modify. And that's all it takes, and it will instantly, uh, you know, be preset over there. And if it does not get triggered within the next uh, five hours that trace automatically cancelled I don't even have to close it manually so this this is like a power tip and this way it is one one of the great steps to help you and become a much more profitable trader by going uh, by helping you to go against that that, um, that instinct or habit to just enter the trade right where it is on the market but instead you know uh, start using the if or then condition so let's say if it goes past here, there's a higher chance it's going to go all the way up. Or if it breaks beneath this, there's a higher chance it's going to go down. For that matter, you can even place trades in opposite directions. If you think that out of the consolidation, it can either break up or down. So these are just some ways to get ideas going. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn more about how to you know, determine what kind of trades you can take, I can teach you an arsenal of techniques to determine different kind of trading setups, how to determine your stop loss to be the most efficient, and you know how, how to make... Uh, to take profit most efficient for you so that you can make a lot more and lose a lot less. Alright, so in order to do that, just check out the video description. I have a link for you to join the Forex Learning Group through one of our supported brokers and I'll look forward to seeing you in my team. Bye for now. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks again. Hmm.